I think it's something that's not really discussed. It's kind of like in the back burner, like, why do we really need that? Well, you really need that, especially coming into the climate that we're going to be in. You want to be able to retain patients, retain your associates, and retain your staff. If your operation cannot handle it. Now, I'll just use a simple example. If you're not answering the phones, it doesn't matter if you do marketing. It literally does nothing. If you don't have availability on your schedule because you haven't set up your schedule properly, marketing means nothing. That's what we're about is making sure you actually have actionable information, not just fluff and just like raw, 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 get excited. We're actually going to teach you how to create, convert and close more new patients. And there's a lot to that. Welcome to another episode of Dental Marketing Go. I'm your host, Gary Bird. I'm the founder of SMC National, where we help you create, convert and close more new patients so you can grow the way that you want. And I'm so excited to have my friend, Dee Fisher. I've told this story before. She's heard it before. But I remember when I first saw Dee up on stage, I said, someday, I hope that I can get into a position that I can work with someone like Dee. And now I get to host an event with her October 19th through the 21st in sunny San Diego. We are going to be hosting the Dental Marketing Manager Bootcamp. And Dee's going to be right at the center of it, helping us create a lot of the content and the information based on what you're going to need to do to really grow over the next 12 months. So Dee, why don't you tell us what your main focus is going to be around what you're going to be talking about at this boot camp? So Gary, I'm so excited about this boot camp because I think marketing, you know, it's always crucial, but I think this year coming is really going to be a factor. And I think people really don't look at their internal marketing systems. You know, how do we really work that? How do we really do that? Both on the private level and the DSO level. So I'm going to really focus on you know, how do you get your most bang for your buck? Because you draw on the leads, right? And then from a lead to be another lead and then another lead. And how do you track that? So I'm going to be talking about putting together marketing internal scorecards, you know, marketing internal KPIs, things like that. And also, you know, I think it's so important if you have great in marketing and internal marketing, it's a retention policy for your associates and for your staff. Yeah. Well, so that's going to be my oh, focus. Oh, that's a I great, mean, that's such a good point. I want to touch on that, D. So a lot of people, when they hear marketing, they just think new patients, which is great. Like that's, I love doing that. And I love helping people with that, but it's only as good as what your internal marketing is because your internal marketing helps you keep the patients. But your point right there was so key. It helps you keep your doctors and your staff too, because they're hitting their bonuses. They're happy because they're seeing patients. So it's really the ultimate package of marketing externally, marketing internally. Absolutely. And you look at, you know, it's one of the funniest thing when you interview a new associate coming on, they're so concerned, not only about compensation, but patient flow. Can you fill my book? It's the number one question that we get. You know, what does your patient flow look like? And if you have a really robust internal marketing program, you're going to fill that book. You know, we actually work with an office right now and it's kind of crazy. We have to turn off some of the marketing because of all the internal marketing they've done which is great, but they've done a really good job at, at having those systems. And the doctors are very happy on the patient, you know, patient journey side, and then also their compensation side. So I think it's something that's not really discussed. It's kind of like in the back burner, like, why do we really need that? Well, you really need that, especially coming into the climate that we're going to be in. You want to be able to retain patients, retain your associates and retain your staff. Um, so I think yeah. those, those, that's what we're going to look at, Gary. It's going to be really a deep dive into that. You want to hear something crazy? Dental marketing agencies are dead. You got that right. They're dead. Why do I say that? Well, we don't consider ourselves a dental marketing agency. We are a growth partner. What that means is, is we help our clients not only create opportunities, but we help them convert them and close them as well. And that is what's needed in the day and age that we live because just getting new patient leads is not enough. You need somebody that's going to help you actually get these new patients into your chair and make sure that they're the right kind of patient for your office. Now, we put together a whole report that will tell you where dental marketing currently is because there's a ton of changes, tons of things are going on with the market. And we broke down what you're going to need to do to stay ahead of the industry and grow the way that you want. The link is down below. Go check it out. Everything is free. I look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, I tell people all the time, I'm like a dentist, okay? So I'm going to tell you what you should do. And if you do it, you don't have to pay me money. When I go to the dentist, they say, Gary, floss. Gary, brush your teeth twice a day. Gary, use this water pick, right? And so I do all those things. Why? So I don't have to go pay the dentist a bunch of money to get fillings and root canals and implants. And marketing's the same way. If you do the things that you're supposed to do internally, you don't have to pay all this money for marketing. You will get a lot of patient referrals. And people go, why are you saying that? Because it's the truth. It's the truth. In every 
patient referral that you get is worth about two and a half marketing patients. Marketing patients are harder to get into the door. Marketing patients don't spend as much. Marketing patients don't send you as many referrals. But patient referrals come in faster. They spend more money. They stay with you longer. Your team likes them more. So why not maximize every opportunity that you can get your hands on with that internal marketing? So that way, marketing from externally is just the cherry on top. That's kind of the way I think through it. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you have brands out there. You know, I'm not going to mention them, but, you know, I'm going to get this cup of coffee over here because somebody told me about that coffee. Or I'm going to shop here because they have a great deal there. That's internal marketing. Their lead went in there already, they purchased. So I think it's something, you know, people are going to really have to look at same day sales this year. And I think they're going to have to look at, you know, long term possibilities for their practices. So I'm excited to do this one. I think this is going to be a game changer this year. And so that's going to be one of the focuses that I really want to look at at this boot camp. And the other thing I want to say about this boot camp is, you know, it's marketing and it's operations. I think that, you know, having both those people there and having that synergy will really be able to build your internal marketing on both your retention for your associates and also retention for your practice. So it's it's exciting time. Marketing, you can't, I tell people this all the time, Marketing fixes nothing, literally nothing, if your operation cannot handle it. And I'll just use a simple example. If you're not answering the phones, it doesn't matter if you do marketing. It literally does nothing. If you don't have availability on your schedule because you haven't set up your schedule properly, marketing means nothing. If you have a dentist that doesn't know how to handle the patients, it means nothing. If you don't have room in your hygiene schedule, it doesn't mean anything. So marketing is only as good as your operation. So this is why I love working with D because D really gets to the point really quickly on the simple things, not complicated, not mm-hmm. hard to do, just simple things that you can do to get your operational structures in place. So that way, when you dump marketing on top of it, everybody wins. So I'm really excited about this, D. And any last words? Oh, I got one last thought. Sign up now because the tickets are like dirt cheap. And I know everybody waits to the last minute to sign up. And that's fine if you want to pay three times as much for the ticket. But right now, the tickets are like, I think like 400, 500 bucks, so they're never going to be cheaper. So any closing thoughts, uh, Dee? For me, what I would, you know, for me, the biggest thing is that we're going into the last quarter. Um, whatever you take from this can really excite your last quarter. And I call it the wheel of success is in the last quarter. Um, and it really is going to have to do with your internal marketing and all things like that. So, you know, what I'm going to tell you, this is going to bring a wheel of success to your last quarter, without a doubt. If yeah. you just take away three things tactical from here, it could change your last quarter, which is going to be really significant this year. And they're going to walk away with a playbook. It's not like, you know, we're just sending you out with words. They'll have that Wheel of Success playbook. And maybe, Gary, that's what we'll name the playbook, Wheel of Success. I like that a lot. I was just grabbing the playbook from last year. It had all of everything in there, all the spreadsheets, all the templates, all the strategies. You just scan it with your phone. So we're going to give you a full playbook. That's what we're about is making sure you actually have actionable information, not just fluff and just like raw, 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 get excited. We're actually going to teach you how to create, convert, and close more new patients. And there's a lot to that. So we're really excited. We hope to see you there. And we're expecting about 250 people there this year. So it's going to be a good size event and can't wait to see everybody there. Thanks so much for coming on, Dee. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for having me.